Right, hi guys, welcome back to the KO Zone. Today we're going to be trying out this new tower rule, which I haven't even looked at yet. Miniature Warfare. That pesky Strinkmeister turned all your Hearthstone cards into toys. Now all your minions are 1-1 one, one and only cost 1 mana. You know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking... Rogue will be pretty good at this, considering the hero power. And backstab gonna be absolutely amazing. Um, won't need eviscerate. Shiv's good. Oh, drawer is definitely gonna be good. Fan of knives is gonna be great. Oh, you know what's gonna be amazing? Nerubian egg. Nerubian egg is gonna be amazing. Anything that has death rattle summon something is gonna be really good. Um, won't need any of those, won't need that, that's going to be pretty OP. Wait, if all of the minions cost 1 mana, does that mean we literally just put in Dr. Boom? Kill more. It will still have Taunt, right? <laughs> Baron Geddon. Sneeds is going to be absolutely amazing. Put in Rag, why not? Alex Straza, Archley for Farm. Now, oh, Archley for Farm isn't actually that good. Oh, Malagus, and you could like burst them down with loads and loads of spells. Put in a Ysera. I'm not sure Deathwing will be that great. It only costs one mana, yes, but you discard your entire hand. Wait, if everything costs one mana, that means Emperor Thurston is going to be really good as well, surely. Kodo Rider, potentially? I don't know. Varnus. Oh, Wobbling Run. Yes. That's going to be amazing. Uh, so we're going to search for... Oh, I don't know about Sludge Factor, actually. Oh, we were going to put in the Ruby and Eggs. Wherever they are. I'm not sure Doomsayer will uh, do too much. Wanted Creeper is going to be pretty strong. Knife Jugglers. I'm not sure I'm right putting in all of this low cost stuff. But we put in a bunch of high cost stuff. So hopefully it will do okay. Death Order sounds like a terrible idea. Search for death rattle. Don't need any of those death rattles. Don't need any of those death rattles. Although possibly unstable ghoul. Uh, Shredder is still going to be strong. Oh yeah, we'll put in Fugan and Stalag. Khan. Piloted Sky Golem. I kind of want to put in Major Dormo, but I know that that would be a really bad idea. Um, we do need some draw now. So we'll put in two loot hoarders, I think. All your minions are 1-1 one, one and cost 1 mana. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Because, potentially, some of these things could be really good if we um, get the Rubians, because obviously they would take out four of their... Little one ones. Um, I guess we just mulligan for the highest cost thing, like uh, Doctor Boom. Definitely one of the best. One cost Alex Straza. Why not? Um, 
even though we have these two, yeah, screw it. We'll just replace that. Baron Geddon. Oh, we have coin as well. We could coin these two out. Yeah, we'll coin these two out. I think that's a pretty strong, pretty strong turn one. Basically, it's just two four fours. It's pretty good. Um, this guy's gone for the I like pawns approach, which is completely fine by me. Especially if he's not trading. Khan is pretty strong, and we'll just Alex Straza straight away. Yeah, you can have those 1 2s, yep. Well, I've got. Oh, they do get reduced into 1 1. Oh! Okay then. In which case, Khan isn't that good. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Luckily, we have Geddon. We do need a loot hoarder. And we'll Geddon. I think Geddon... Oh, unfortunately, he does have ping. But Geddon otherwise is very strong. It does seem like we are going to need to tweak this a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, and Kelth is that? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty strong. I presume that when they, he resummons them, it will, um... It will make it into a... Um... 1-1. One, one. They'll resummon into 1-1s, one, I presume. Needs isn't actually as good as I thought it was either, because, um... I thought it would summon a proper big legendary, as opposed to a 1-1. One, one. Wait, do these get turned into 1-1s? One Potentially that's a buff. Because now they can attack. Backstab, good. Right, we're just gonna spam. Don't actually have, like, anything to do. I can't be bothered to use a backstab on that. We need something in hand, just in case he um, uses another, some kind of Antonidas thing. So we want things with strong battle cries. And things that summon other stuff does turn them into a uh, one-one. All of his mummies will, if he's chosen mummies, turn into one-ones. I'm wondering whether if he buffs, <laughs> no, my wind fury. <laughs> this is really strong though. Wobbling runs is really good. Um. I don't think we'll pop it though. Now, I definitely want to test out whether that does um, gain the buff or not. I think in his hand one card is a fireball if he hasn't already used it. It would be so cool if all of the spells dealt one damage as well. But yeah, Dr. Boom is definitely just the strong. No, no, you should have pinged this one. Are you going to do your... Oh no, you can't do his mummy zombies anyway. Wow, that's it. Okay. Um, We are going to play one of these. Keep the other one in our hand, though. If he does play that mummy zombies thing, we need to keep this. Because it will just completely wipe his board. It's amazing. This basically is just a board clear. But I like his idea of Arcane Explosion, that's pretty good. Arcane Missiles is also pretty damn strong. Are you gonna fireball me? Okay, sure. Oh, see, now Fugan and Stalag aren't as strong as I thought either, because they... Um, the Thaddeus that they summon will, will be a 1-1 one, one instead of a... 11-11. So we, we will need to tweak this a little bit. Sneeds will probably stay. We need things with strong battle cries. 
Yeah, that's what I was not hoping for. Do we want damage battle cries rather than um is that base? Yeah. Right, this potentially kills me. How much did they hit for? Two and three. Couldn't have hit the uh, run, could they? Couldn't have hit the run. Okay. Right, we're definitely tweaking the stack a little bit. And when I say tweaking it a little bit, I mean entirely reworking it. So, what we want is... Conceal is not helpful. One backstab. Uh, betrayal? I don't know about Betrayal. We don't really need many board clears because um, the board is pretty empty on its own. Uh, Fan of Knives was definitely good. I'm wondering whether Iron Sensei still applies the buff or whether the um, buff doesn't count. Dark Iron Skulker is still very strong. Sprint. We'll put in prep. Prep sprint. Prep sprint. Prep sprint is definitely good because we need our hand definitely needed. Um. Does injured caval there? Will that kill itself? Right. So we want things with strong battle cries. Gadget and jouster is potentially quite a strong battle cry. Because if it becomes a 2-2, if, if it becomes a 2-2, then that would actually be really strong. Well, I say really strong. Comparatively strong. Sure, bearer is pointless. Finley. Finley's okay. These guys are okay. These guys are okay. Ooh. If Young Priestess works, we'll put in one of these. If Young Priestess works, that could potentially be pretty good. Um, flame driven. No, Haunted Creeper is good. Knife Juggler is good. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Nat Pagel? No, it turns into a 1 1. Wild Pyro. For them, with more board clears, I think unst one unstable goal. Um, will we be holding dragons? I don't know. Possibly. Geddon's good, Boom is good. We could make a dragon deck. We could make a dragon deck. I'm not sure Kelf is that any good. Chrom! Yes, Chrom is really good. Looks like we're making a dragon deck then. A Nixia. Super strong. Um, none of those. Maybe Deathwing, but not really. We just stick in all of the... Trogsaw's pretty good, except it gets removed by a hero power. All of these get removed by hero powers. We've already got one sprint. Uh, Vanish. Vanish isn't that good. If the, if, again, it, it's very conditional. If this turns into a 4-4, four, four, then that's actually pretty good. But otherwise, not that great. Charge and Divine Shield. Charge and Divine, 1-1, one, one, Charge, Divine Shield? Maybe. Well, we don't have that many spells. We can stick in a Grand Crusader for for the lols. Sky Golem's still okay. I mean, it summons a 1 1, that's alright. Toshley. Yeah, Toshley's okay. Oh, almost missed out the wobbling runs. 
Um, have we put in Dark Iron Skulkers? Yeah. Healbot? No. Sentinel? Maybe. Maybe Sentinel. Um, if you're going to install it, don't work very well. Grim Patron does not work at all. Frostwolf Warlord is okay. Potentially. If I don't see anything else, I'll probably put in Frostwolf or Mookla. I think we put in Mookla. And we'll see how this goes. We will get that pack. Right, okay, let's try this again. Try it and hopefully get some success. Knife Juggler is very strong, but Boom is very, very strong. We don't actually want Fan of Knives. Skulker is very, very strong. Wow, we have some really good cards here. I think we open with turn one Boom. Totally balanced. Oh no! That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Have you, oh yeah, he's got coin, so he can coin out um, whatever he wants to. Pretty scary. But the Drake and the Laughing Sister will still be a 1 1. Come on, yes. So stuff that spawns more one ones is pretty good. Um, the knife juggler is gonna do very well. Only for, only for what was that? Only for one. That really sucks. We can throw the sprint right now. We are gonna slowly wear him down. It's very cool, it's like Edric has been all over the place. Yeah, I thought that would be good as well, but unfortunately it is not. We're going for the Skulker. Oh, we're definitely going for the Skulker. This is gonna be so sweet. Look at this. Board clear for one mana. Best thing. Does Whirling Blades actually affect it? Yes, it does. Oh, look at that! I didn't want my free win, really. I didn't really want it. Come on, give me the pack. I wanted to continue that game, but I guess Dark Iron Skulker is really, really strong. Right, now if the game lets me. I will open that pack, and we'll, I should, unfortunately we can't uh, do it exactly how Russian claims that you get legendaries, but, boring, Taskmaster would be pretty good. I really like the Tavern Ball bows, really cool. And there go the lights, come on lights. Been sat still for too long. This is really fun. Um, potentially, uh, what's it called? Not Harrison Jones. Harrison Jones would be okay actually, because you do need a lot of draw. I think potentially um, the person with the most draw would win, and the person with the most board clears, like Dark Iron Skulker. And whoever pulls off Alex first. Geddon's pretty strong. He has a 1 damage hero power. We'll keep Creeper. Wow. Now this 
is a good hand. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. We don't have coin, unfortunately. So we play a creeper. He'll play something. Possibly two things. Yeah, sprint. Possibly two things. Um. If he plays two things, then we immediately. Oh no. <laughs> oh, if we were one mana. If we have one more mana. Stabilized. Yeah, and its ear is very strong. We did put that in right. I'm fairly certain we did. Oh, thanks, bro. Prep. Prep. Oh, we got the prep sprint. We got Mad Bomber. Okay, that's scary. That's really scary. Double draw, yeah, okay. It's pretty good. We almost have as much draw. If I j I'm just hoping he goes face hit. Oh, that's really bad. I think we just lost. I think we just lost immediately. Like, Wobbling Runts is not quite going to pull this back. Um, see, all of his things are three times bigger than mine, which is insane. Unfortunately for us, this doesn't count as a battle cry. Very fortunately. <laughs> so we can... Kill off two. Oh, we got our own index here. Okay, okay. We can pull this back. But his things are absolute giants compared to ours. So we need more. Um, Cenaris is really good in this. Stormwinds, I imagine, would be pretty good. Um, even though it itself is a 1 1, you'd need to protect it with something. Possibly a Belcher. But this guy's deck is really cool. I can, there's obviously a reason why I'm going to be losing. I think after this, we might tweak the deck a little bit, maybe? Raven Idol is pretty good. Oh, Swipe! Swipe is pretty strong, because you can swipe face every time. Alright, so we're going to suicide these in here, then we're going to play Mad Obama. Please don't coin... That seemed like... Um, did he really want to do that? I guess he wants to kill one of them at least, because then uh, we can't kill Bran. Right, so we've got our Mad Bomber. Please don't hit me in the face. Thank you. Uh, we've got Grand Crusader. <laughs> this is like the only time that this card will ever see any use in this tavern brawl. So we probably want to um, follow the rules. Grand. We'll play our Nixia when we have fewer cards because then. Um, Because then, we'll get more value out of it. But he has a lot of cards. I think Bran is a pretty good shout in this in this brawl. Especially with the... Especially with, like, um... Oh, he's got a swipe. No, he can't use swipe. He can if he innovates it. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Uh, 
Yeah, we're dead. No! Quick, get out! You could literally just make a deck, uh, probably a mage deck, with loads and loads of, um, like, Ronin would be absolutely amazing in this deck, because you could Ronin, uh, get three copies of the missiles, then play Malagus, um, I might craft Ronin just for that purpose. We, I have a lot of dust. So we could possibly do that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll win this game. And then I'll, I'll stop recording. This could be, could be uh, one video, probably. And then we'll have our future Admiral endeavors. We got the prep sprint. I don't think we want Skulker. We do want Boom. We want Onyxia, really. Or just Alex Straza. That's pretty strong. Turn 1. Oh, turn 1. Uh, oh, wait, no, we can juggler... Juggler Boom. Is what we can do. See, that seemed like a really bad idea to play your... If this doesn't hit, I'm gonna be... Very angry. Dagnabbit, juggler, you had one job. Literally one job. And you failed the 50-50 three times. Now he's gonna play some ridiculous, big, uh, impactful minions. And the jugglers are gonna hit perfectly. Like, I, that, those three damage literally means nothing. Because I plan to Alex Straza next, uh... Anyway. Wait. Guys, are you ready for this Wombo combo? Oh yeah, a 4-4. Four, four. That's right. Now we are the giants. That's, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It should have hero powered this. It should have hero powered. No, I need, uh, a whirlwind? That kind of sucks. We need to save this for when we have some things. That's pretty nice. We are gonna hit him. See, warrior, if you play just the car, if you if you were to play just the car as a warrior, the maximum damage that an entire board can put off is um seven. Unless you get buffs, of course. Um So if you were to um play just the car, you can heal for four of that every single turn, which is absolutely insane. I'm not going to fan of knives and open board. Just keep buffing my dude, which is not what we want, actually. We want to kill this off. But yeah, you, you can gain four armor a turn, which is ridiculous. Have you got execute? No, there's no reason for you to be running it. But now the whirlwind's gone. Oh, little mini rag. That's cute. Should have hit first before weaponing. We will buff rag slowly back up to his former self. Still shoots an 8 damage fireball though, that's pretty cool. Have you got nothing that deals... Oh, he's gonna have a revenge, isn't he? Revenge is pretty strong. I can imagine that Warrior, with both whirlwinds, both, um... Revenge is... Just the car. Yeah, there's revenge. Um... 
both Owens, both Revengers would be pretty damn good. That's the nine. Are you gonna inner rage it? There's no reason for that. So he can literally just outlast me, and this becomes a fatigue war. So we would have needed just the car as well, in order to just keep up with his standard hero power. But it would mean a very, very slow game. Oh, especially if he puts in like Shield Maiden. We could be absolute assholes. Oh, that's not good. Luckily, if I kill one, it doesn't buff itself. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. Here we, go. we can take a little bit of damage. Oh, I should have killed it. I should have killed it, because then the thing that he plays doesn't get buffed. Also, he could have um, Stormwind. Or something like that. Luckily this deals 2 damage um, to this, but we still have to hit this with our uh, arrow in order to kill it. Right, if he doesn't draw something good to answer this, we basically win. But by the looks of things, he has a lot of answers in his deck. Not quite good enough. So what we do is we play both the things that we draw and hope. Oh yes. Oh that is so good. Um nah, there's no way of killing all three. So Chrom definitely dies. I think I'll save the backstack just in case. But that was such a good, a uh, such a good I can take the hit. dupe from Krom. I don't see why you would pop those, to be honest. But yeah, this is why the hero power is really strong. Like. Did we Alex him? I feel like we did. In fact, we're gonna sh just gonna use this. But Tavern Rule is meant to be fun, and this guy is definitely not making it fun. Especially if he gets like a um, whirlwind hit. That would just absolutely clear. So potentially there are two types of decks that you can do here. One that is basically warrior and just tries to survive for as long as possible. And is really dull and annoying and probably going to lose. Or you can run, uh, make a deck with loads and loads and loads of draw um, to just flood the board and kill your opponent. Because now if he has another whirlwind... Oh, okay. Well, look at that! We actually won it. Somehow. I think Chrom is definitely really strong in this deck. Rag is pretty strong. But I'll mess around with this, and I'll report back uh, probably in the next video. I might post it, might not. You guys will find out. But if you've liked this, this is genuinely my first look at this new Tavern Brawl. Um, and I, I really, really like it already. It seems amazing. But I don't know. Let me know what you uh, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what else you want me to do. Um, and I guess that's it. On like ten times boost, it's much easier to like choose your direction. Yes. Nice play. That was that's so very nice. sick. <laughs> With the demolish as well. Tactical demolish.